Hey guys, welcome back to Z Code System. Drew here this week to talk to you about the FA Cup third round, which is coming up this weekend, and games are going to be played over the weekend of January 8th, 9th, and 10th. And we're going to take a look at a few of the games that are going to go on, and specifically we'll look at games on Friday, January 8th, and January 9th, the Saturday, uh, with these picks that I'm going to give you today. And of course, as you can see right in front of you on your screen, we've got the blog that's up right there. And you can go over to the zcodesystem.com backslash blog site, and you can read up on everything that um, I've written there about the FA Cup this weekend and the picks that I've given. Um, I'm going to give you a few of those games that I wrote about, maybe give you a couple of other games as well to give you something a little special here on the YouTube channel. And uh, we'll get on with that in just a few minutes. Now, today I'm coming to you without a little bit of video on uh, my connection is not great here today at the office, so giving you just the audio in our YouTube video, but we'll rectify that for our next one, hopefully, and uh, get you my face back on here to look at while you're watching um, on here on YouTube. Now, of course, the FA Cup is the biggest um, cup competition in English football, and it is the oldest competition in world football uh, at the club level. So it's going to be a big weekend this weekend as the third round kicks off. Now, as you most likely know, the third round is when the big teams all enter the fray. Uh, we've seen already the qualifying rounds for the non-league teams and uh, the amateur teams. And now we're seeing the Premier League teams join up here in the third round. And if you're not too familiar with the FA Cup, um, this is a tournament in which teams from all over England are allowed entry or at least entry to qualification. And you will be able to see some amateur teams, part-time teams, taking on fully professional teams, some of the biggest clubs in the world. So, for example, this weekend you will be seeing Marine AFC taking on Tottenham Hotspur. Now, Tottenham Hotspur, um, an English Premier League side, a team that is fighting for the Premier League title this season, they will be taking on a team in the eighth tier of English football, uh, Marine AFC, who um, are a part-time team. You know, guys uh, play in their spare time. So that's one of the great things about the FA Cup is that you see this diversity and you see these teams and you always see some kind of a giant killing. It might not be an eighth tier team defeating a Premier League team, but, you know, you might see um, a team from the championship or League One or League Two upsetting a team from the Premier League. Uh, sometimes with the FA Cup, you don't know what you're going to get until the day it happens. And with the importance of a lot of teams trying to stay in the Premier League uh, and not be relegated, there is an emphasis a lot of the time to rest players um, when the FA Cup third round rolls around and to put focus on the league rather than the cup. And that occasionally leads to some upsets. So we're going to see some big games this weekend and really the biggest in terms of names of teams playing each other is Liverpool and Aston Villa. They're going to play on Friday night on January 8th at Villa Park. And that's going to be a very big game. And um, really, there's no other top team um, from the Premier League that is going to be playing another top team from the Premier League like this. Um, this week in Manchester United have a pretty easy fixture against Watford. Uh, Manchester City um, also have a, a rather easy fixture um, when they go, they, uh, they play um, at the Etihad Stadium. Um, so this is going to be a really um, key match uh, that we're going to see on Friday night. And so we played at Aston Villa, uh, Villa Park. And the last time Liverpool went there, they got beat 7-2 earlier this season in a shocking game, a shocking display. And this is a Liverpool team who are in poor form right now. So we could, we very well could see a giant killing. So a lot of games are going to be going on this weekend. And let's look at a couple here today on YouTube with the Z Code system of video and our preview for the FA Cup third round. So what I'm going to bring up today, and it's the tool I like to use these days on our on all of our videos, is the Soccer Buddy tool, which is a great tool to help you with your football or your soccer sports investing. Uh, now, if you've never used the tool, um, I'll give you a little bit of an example how we can uh, use this. And obviously you can... Um, watch the how it works video that we have posted here. But all you simply need to do is go to the Soccer Buddy tool within the uh, resources that we have on Z Code System uh, with the VIP. And I'm going to change the date. So today is the 6th, but I want the 8th. Um, so we want the 8th. And rather than all leagues, uh, what I want is I want the England FA Cup. 
And as you can see there, we've got two games that are going to be played on Friday night. We've got the Liverpool Aston Villa game, which will be played at Villa Park. And we've got the Crystal Palace Wolverhampton Wanderers game, which will be played at Molyneux uh, in Wolverhampton. Now, um, I'm giving you both of those predictions there from the soccer buddy. And uh, again, you can use this. And you know what I love? I love the hot trends. So I want to click on that. And well, some of the games it will give us those hot trends, some games it won't. But right now we have this right here in front of us. Now, Liverpool taking on Aston Villa in this game. It's going to be a very uh, difficult game for Liverpool. They're coming off of three straight games in the Premier League without a win. They lost on Monday night to Southampton 1-0. And although the defense, which has gotten a lot of... Um, a lot of critics at the moment because of all the injuries there are it's actually the attack that liverpool have their their vaunted attack of roberto firmino sadio mane and uh, mohamed salah that are not playing well uh these players uh those three in particular salah especially are going missing in games and uh right now they don't look like scoring goals at all aston villa are flying quite high right now um they're doing well under dean smith they spent a lot of money last summer brought in some players, and they've really built a quality squad there. Um, earlier in the season, they were pushing for first place, uh, and they were in first place at one point in the Premier League. They've cooled off a bit, but they've shown that they're going to stick around the mid-table area, so around that 6th to 10th place area at the moment. They're, they're really sticking with it. They've got some good players there. Jack Grealish, of course, is their, uh, their talisman. He's their main man, and he makes everything tick uh, in that center of the attack in that uh, midfield position that he plays. So Aston Villa did defeat Liverpool earlier this season, 7-2 in a game at Villa Park. And this was an incredible result at the time. Villa just ran away with the game. Ollie Watkins had a hat trick in it. Um, he's had He's got six goals this season in the Premier League. Of course, we're talking about the FA Cup, but he's got six goals this year in the Premier League. Three of those goals came against Liverpool. So he uh, was in dynamite form that night. Now, he's cooled off quite a bit since those early games. I do actually like Aston Villa in this game because Liverpool have been playing so poorly uh, over the last couple of games. They're just not ticking right now. In a way, Liverpool are a team that are a mixed bag. You're not sure what you're going to get when they're playing away from home. And this game is not at Liverpool, this game's not at Anfield, so we could see an Aston Villa win in this game, and I'm, I wouldn't be shocked if we did. Uh, it wouldn't be necessarily a giant killing, but it would be a massive dent uh, in Liverpool's hopes of winning trophies this season. Now, of course, Liverpool are still in the Premier League title race. They're first place right now, and they have a huge game next weekend on the 17th against Manchester United. So um, hopefully, in for, for their sake, they won't have their eyes too far ahead on that game, they'll be focused on this Aston Villa match. But you know what? That 1-1 that scoreline looks really good there. Um, I quite like that prediction. Now, just so you know, in the FA Cup this year, because of the, the fixture congestion and the coronavirus pandemic, games are, uh, or sorry, the fixtures, if it ends in a draw, typically, traditionally, games will go to a replay. That's not going to happen this year. Games will be finished out on the day, so they'll go to extra time and penalties if needed. And uh, this game could use both penalties uh, or or extra time to sort out the winner. So I like that 1-1 one, one scoreline. I think Liverpool will struggle once again when they play Aston Villa at Villa Park. Now, looking down there, we've got Crystal Palace going to Molyneux to play Wolverhampton Wanderers. Um, another good game that this is going to be on, a fr on Friday. And we've got Wolves who, um, not having the greatest season uh, by their standards over the last couple of years, they've set the bar pretty high. Uh, since they returned to the Premier League under Nuno Santo Espirito. Uh, the problem for Wolves this year has been goal scoring, and that was made worse uh, in, I believe it was late November, when striker Raul Jimenez suffered a fractured skull against Arsenal. He is out indefinitely uh, as he uh, waits to heal and for medical clearance to come back. And again, such a, a horrific accident or injury, uh, who knows if he'll ever be the same once more. But Wolves do host Crystal Palace this weekend. Uh, Wolves have been good against Palace uh, at home. They've already played this year in the league at home. I believe it was a Wolves 2-0 win um, against Crystal Palace. Palace typically have, uh, they carry quite a few injuries from week to week, it seems like. And um, they also are having tr uh, troubles scoring goals this year. I do like Wolves to win this game. 2-1 uh, is, a, is a nice score line there. Um, I think Wolves will pull this game out. Uh, Wolves did see three goals uh, in their last game. It was a 3-3 draw against Brighton. 
So there are some goals still in this team, even with Jimenez out. And I think they'll get the win and move on to the fourth round of the FA Cup. Now, I'm just going to highlight a couple of other games that are going to be taking place on the sun, uh, excuse me, on the Saturday uh, when the FA Cup resumes on the 9th. So, of course, we just go up to our calendar, we change our date, and we just wait for the Z code system uh, soccer buddy to bring those up. And so we've got that now with the FA Cup here. And there are going to be so many games on Saturday that if you are interested in betting on these games, then you're going to have a lot of football to bet on. And you're going to have a lot of games. Be sure that you do your research. You're going to have a lot of games such as Millwall versus Bourne Wood, Sheffield United versus Bristol Rovers, uh, West Brom versus Blackpool. You're going to have a lot of Premier League teams or championship teams playing lower level teams. Now, it's not always the case that you're going to have the uh, higher tiered team win that game. So do your research and uh, be aware of what's going on in these games. Now, I'm going to come back to this Fulham and Queen's Park Rangers game in just a few minutes. Um, but before I get to that game, uh, let's take a look down. And again, here on YouTube today, you guys are getting a lot of great picks from the Soccer Buddy app um, if you are quick enough to catch them here. Um, but I'm going to scroll down uh, to a game uh, I profiled in the blog, and that is a match that I am now struggling to find. There it is, Leicester City taking on Stoke City. Now, Leicester City in the top four right now in the Premier League. They are playing very well. Uh, in the Premier League, and this is a team that really has their eyes set on some silverware, and the FA Cup could be a great trophy for them to pursue. Um, this is a team currently playing in the Europa League as well, uh, and they are fighting on three fronts. Um, they take on Stoke City, who are playing in the EFL Championship. Uh, Stoke City coming off of a loss last weekend, and a team that is uh, really trying to find their feet right now and fight for promotion to the Premier League. Now, Promotion to the Premier League means um, a lot of things, um, but most importantly, it means lots of money coming into the coffers for any team that can make it there uh, through promotion. So Stoke City will definitely have their main aim to make the playoffs in the championship and to reach the Premier League. So this is one reason I've identified this uh, game. Leicester City, they've got nothing to lose in this. They are going to go out and they're going to play uh, Stoke City at Stoke City um, very hard. They're going to put on a, a, a very good team, I think, a high-quality team. And I expect a Leicester City win in this game. Again, Stoke City's attention should be elsewhere, not so much going uh, deep into the FA Cup. So I'm picking Stokes, uh, excuse me, I'm picking Leicester City uh, to win this game. 2 1 scoreline looks pretty good. I think this Leicester City team, um, they're, they're not a bad team. They're giving some teams uh, runs for their money there in the top, uh, the top half of the Premier League table. And um, I think they're going to pull off a nice uh, FA Cup round three win on Saturday. Now, as you can see, we've got some other games going on. Um, just a note on this game, Derby uh, in the championship. They're playing Chorley, who are a very much a lower league team. I, I believe a non-league team, um, perhaps in the fifth tier, sixth tier of English football. Um, definitely um, a game you might want to keep an eye on uh, betting-wise. Um, Derby really, on paper, should win this game. Um, but... Again, that's on paper. And, of course, you've got Manchester United taking on Watford right here. That game's going to go on on Saturday night at Old Trafford in Manchester. And right now I can't see anything else besides Manchester United win. Watford, another one of those championship teams that are chasing a playoff, uh, a playoff place and promotion back to the Premier League. So, for me, this is a game in which Manchester United could really um, get some goals. I think, actually, Manchester United are going to get some more goals than just 1-0. Um, I could see this being 3-0. Uh, or 3-1 uh, in the end with Manchester United getting a big win and moving on to the FA Cup fourth round. Now, I wanted to just talk about that Queen's Park Rangers game versus Fulham, uh, and I'm going to scroll down. We've got the value bet, so this is a great tool to use with a soccer buddy. Um, you can scroll down to the bottom to find all these value bets uh, where you might be able to make some excellent profits on your betting. So um, I'm actually going to uh, pick one of these out, and that is the right there, the Fulham versus Queen's Park Rangers game. But of course, you can see uh, multiple games here. Um, and this is for possible draws. And I actually really like this result 1 1 for the FA Cup third round of Fulham versus Queen's Park Rangers. I wrote about this in the blog, but if you don't have time to go over there to read that, and you just want to watch the video, then well, you can just listen to me now. Uh, Fulham are in the relegation zone right now in the Premier League. This is not a very good Fulham team. They are championship quality uh, at best, um, but they are 
doing better than they were at the beginning of the season. Uh, they've picked up four consecutive draws in the Premier League, and uh, they're taking on a Queen's Park Rangers team who um, is also located in West London. So this is a derby uh, for the third round of the FA Cup. Queen's Park Rangers not doing so hot right now in the championship. They're towards the bottom of the table, and a relegation fight could be on the cards. Now, the thing is, this is a derby, so we could see some really uh, a really solid game between these two teams. Tackles flying in very heated and fiery. Um, I like that 1-1 scoreline because Fulham aren't scoring a lot of goals right now in the Premier League. Like I said, they've drawn four straight games uh, in the division, and QPR are not a high-scoring team either. Now, QPR, being big rivals of Fulham and being a league lower, they'll have their eyes on upsetting the, uh, the team ahead of them, uh, the team in the Premier League. So they'll be wanting to go down, uh, go out with a scalp and a giant killing. So um, this should be a really good, entertaining game. And at the end of 90 minutes, I love that 1-1 scoreline between these two teams. So if you're looking for a value bet, a possible draw, maybe a 1-1 scoreline draw between Fulham and QPR on Saturday when these two teams meet in the FA Cup third round. Now, guys, you can go over to the Z Code System website and you can Use all of these great tools, especially the Soccer Buddy, and you can get all this information and help you make educated predictions and picks on all your sports bets on your uh, online account, whichever sports book that you prefer to use. Now, the FA Cup is coming up this weekend. I'll just go back here to the blog. So again, you can go over to the blog and you can read all about that. You can watch back through the video and make your picks all through the week. Now, the games kick off on Friday, and they go through the entire weekend with some very uh, big matches. We didn't even talk about Tottenham or Manchester City or Chelsea, and those games are going to be coming up um, on the Sunday. So you're going to have a lot of action to get to. So, guys, good luck this weekend with your sports betting. And thanks for watching here on YouTube, Z Code System. If you like what you see, this is your first time, please give us a like and subscribe. If you're coming back for another time, give us a like on this video. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe so you're up to date on everything that we post here on the Z Code System YouTube channel. Uh, you, there's all kinds of great content that we post, whether it be about the Premier League, about the FA Cup, NFL, NHL, NBA, Major League Baseball. You've got it all here when we post it. So, guys. Good luck this weekend with your football betting with the FA Cup third round, and we will see you soon here on Z Code System.